So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to absolutely destroy that dude. The boss. So we're gonna do a golden vow right here. Then I'm gonna drink this flask because I wanna have my full mana. I get in, drink this flask and get behind him. He's gonna give a speech. How could summon Mimic? But I don't think. To become Elden Lord. I really don't think it's gonna be required. So, because we're gonna do this and this and uh, do hits. So yeah, he knew in his bones that I'm gonna do hit him. So now, when he's gonna finish speaking, I'm gonna explain you how this build works. And by the way, this is new game five. So if this is your first playthrough or second playthrough, you might be able to one-hit him. That's a possibility. Okay? So now I'm gonna start explaining you how the build works. The first gonna be the flask. So I use flame shrouding crack tier and blood sucking crack tier. Flame shrouding crack tier gives you fire damage boost, and this gives all damage boost. This is DLC crack tier. If you don't have it, use Fate crack tier. That's gonna boost the skill damage of the weapon that I used. Now, the items. The weapon's Blasphemous Blade, plus 10. I used Taker's Flame, the skill. I hit him twice and, and he died. And then any seal to cast Golden Vow. Then, this is DLC set. It gives Every piece gives plus 2% of damage bonus, but it has really weak defense. As you see, Polgo has twice as much defense almost. So you don't have to have the set, it's just... I'm using this because it's slightly quicker. I probably still will have to hit him. Then Fire Scorpion Charm gives Fire Attack damage boost. Radagon Sword Shield gives you plus 5 of Dexterity, Strength, Endurance and Vigor. Shard of Alexander gives you, uh, it boosts attack power of skills. Then this is a new talisman of dread, it raises potency of magma, so it boosts the damage of the taker's flames. If you don't have it, you can use this one. It raises fate, and the skill damage scales with fate, so if you use this talisman, you're gonna do more damage with the weapon. Okay, so we got this covered. We have weapon, armor, talisman. Show you what in the flask. The buff that I used was Golden Vow. Then, my skills. My level is high because it's new game 5. So what you want to do with skills, with skill points. You want to go as high as you can in Fate because the skill damage scales with Fate. Be scaling in Fate. Then you want to have as much vigor as you can because... The skill restores a percentage of your total health, so the more health you have, the more it restores. Then you want to go into Endurance and Mind. And if you're gonna actually use the sword, not just the skill, you can put some point into Strength. So this is the build, this is how it works. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments.